Good morning. A few uh, nights ago, we had a big storm here, and uh, in the middle of the night, we had a 20-foot limb just fall straight down from our big tree out behind our house. Almost took out our entire fence. It's just laying in the backyard, and it's too heavy for one person to lift, frankly. And uh, after the big storms, we woke up the next day and and went to assess the damage. Looked around. There's there's trees, debris everywhere, and, and actually there were shingles in our front yard. One of the shingles had a nail popped through it, so somebody had some damage on the roof. And so obviously we wanted to make sure it wasn't us. So we looked around the house, and thankfully the the shingle wasn't ours. But we were able to find out whose house it was and and assess their damage and and get them contacting the right people. But it got me thinking, storm season's right around the corner. Uh, in East Texas, we have hailstorms, seems like every weekend uh, during the April, May time period. Last year, two years ago, there were large, large hailstorms. Um, if you'll remember in Wiley and Lindale and all around the surrounding areas, I mean, there's there's been uh, a lot of hailstorms in East Texas, and, and with hailstorms, especially the bigger the size of the hail, um, it can do some real damage to a house. So what I wanted to talk about this morning is preparing yourself and preparing your house for um, the upcoming storm season. First thing you need to do is go out to go outside, go look at your roof. If you see any signs of any uh, missing shingles or any crooked shingles. Um, even even the lifted shingles, you'll see some tabs that when, they, when they're laying down flat are, are fine because they're doing their job. But if you see a lift in those shingles, then there's something to, to be concerned about there. Because you understand that uh, under the shingles there's an adhesive that sticks them together. And as wind blows, as the, age, as the roof ages, as wind blows, those shingles can start to lift a little bit. And if any kind of debris or dirt or leaves get um, into that adhesive, then it doesn't stick anymore. And if it doesn't stick anymore, the water can get, uh, it can cause tears, it can cause uh, nails to pop, and, and that's when you start to see water damage. So the first thing you need to do is go look at your roof, see if there's any signs of any kind of damage. The next step in the process, I think, would be um, to go into your attic, go into your roof, uh, go into your attic space to see um, if there's any evidence of water damage. Um, really, what you're looking for is there's going to be insulation in your roof. Um, and so if you see any insulation that looks different from the other insulation, maybe it's, it's uh, harder or um, wet even, that's obvious signs of water, right? Um, another thing to look for would be uh, streaking, uh, stains, uh, streaking down the, uh, the, the, the boards and the bracing and stuff in the attic. If you see any of that, then that's a potential water uh, source. The, the objective of a roof, obviously, is to, keep, uh, is to keep water from getting into that, to the building envelope. And if you have any areas of penetration, water gets in, you can have uh, water damage to your uh, entire house the, or even your personal belongings. You can get mold. A lot of bad problems can come from, from water getting in. So um, those are the first two steps. Document everything. If you see any indications whatsoever of any type of water in, in intrusion, water penetrations, any lifted shingles, call a roofer. Um, and get them out there immediately. Document it. Tell them you had somebody come out and they said it was fine. And the reason you do that is when these big storms come, if damage does happen from a big hail storm, you'll be able to say, no, this roof was in fine working order prior to this storm. So the insurance company can know, okay, this roof was fine. Now it's not fine. It was obviously uh, storm related, storm caused opening in the house. And it frankly makes it uh, harder for the insurance company to uh, deny or underpay a claim. If they know you're doing your job to maintain your property, maintain your house, then um, the insurance claim process should 
should proceed smoother. So check your roof, check your attic, check your window seals, and make sure there's no water penetration in the house. And that's the first step to preparing your house for storm season. Do it now, don't wait until it's too late. So if you have questions about an insurance claim, insurance issue, feel free to call us, 903-965-2000. Thank you, have a good day.